Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States during one of the worst time periods in American history, the Civil War. Before being elected president, Lincoln served in the Illinois legislature and lost an election for the U.S. Senate to Stephen Douglas. However, his campaign earned him a nomination for the presidency. Lincoln grew up in a cabin in Illinois in 1858. He ran for Senate, but he lost to Douglas. He was known throughout the U.S., so when he ran for president, he won. But the South was unhappy and some states left because they thought he was an abolitionist. Then the Civil War started. After losing the Battle of Bull Run, he changed generals. He hired George B. McClellan for the Battle of Antietam. This is considered one of the bloodiest days in the Civil War. Both the Union and Confederate Army suffered great losses. This was barely a victory for the Union Army, but it was a victory. With this loss, Lee returned back towards the South. The Union gave chase, but was not quick enough to catch them. With the victory at Antietam, Lincoln placed the Emancipation Proclamation. This executive order was to attempt to free the slaves in the areas that rebellion was established, but it did not free the slaves. Lincoln decided to change generals again. He was not satisfied with the performance of McClellan, nor was he satisfied with the next two generals, General Ambrose Burnside and General Joseph Hooker. Neither of these generals really wanted the job. Finally, Lincoln imported General George Meade very soon after his appointment, there came the bloodiest, most gruesome battle of the Civil War, which was Gettysburg. This battle was fought on July 1st, 1863. It was a hard battle, and it became a Union victory. Lincoln chose this time to travel to Gettysburg to deliver the Gettysburg Address. The address was 272 words long and did not mention slavery, the battle, or the Union Army. It was widely accepted by all people. After Gettysburg, Lincoln decided to change generals again. This time, his choice was Ulysses S. Grant, his best chance for the Union yet. Grant was a fighter. He captured important Confederate forts in Tennessee and led the Union Army into a battle at Vicksburg and won. Then Grant's only thought was getting Lee and Lee and Richmond. This was the beginning of the end, with William Tecumseh Sherman destroying the Confederates way of getting materials to fight the war by destroying railroads, factories, and its plantations. He was breaking the spirit of the Confederacy. When Sherman burned Atlanta, it was all but over. Grant surrounded Richmond and it fell into the Union Army on April 3rd of 1865. Lee surrendered and it was a mourn mourn mournful day for the Confederacy. The Union had stripped it of its pride and the Confederacy was on its knees never to rise again.